now that we have our own template theme and font style, we will start actually creating a presentation from scratch. Now that we have our own template, or at least our own themes and our own customizations, we can close this one and let's start a presentation from scratch. Instead of using a template, we are going to use this other option, which will start for us a empty presentation. Let's go. In this first lesson of making a Prezi, we are going to use all the different features of Prezi to insert content in our topics. Now, a word on topics. A Prezi is created on the concept of an open canvas, where you have a starting canvas, which is this white square, which is our background right now. And then we have topics. These topics are containers of information, clusters or buckets that open a new layer, a new level, an extra dimension on the presentation. So you can have multiple canvases. You have one open canvas here where you can add other containers of information. And inside each container of information, if we zoom in, we find a new canvas, a new place where we can add and distribute content based on what we want to communicate. The whole concept of Prezi is around topics, which are containers of information, and then stuff that you can put inside. In this first lesson of creating a Prezi, we are going to review all these different tools very quickly and then in detail on each of the lessons. This first option, which is obviously to create a topic that we can also find here in the top left and present us with two options, planet and stacks. Please refer back to the planet and stacks lesson on the introductory part of the course to understand the difference between a planet and a stack topic. For now, we are going to only use planet topics. And we will have one lesson further on specific on stacks. Let's start by creating a few topics. And coming back to the concept of Topics are containers of information where you insert stuff in. My library is a collection of Prezi elements, not necessarily graphic elements, but Prezi elements that can be full structures, topics and subtopics, or can be single images. We have a full lesson about my library, and I suggest you refer back. For this part of the course, this is not relevant. Story blocks are predefined structures for specific purposes. You can insert full flows, like a timeline with different topics, and create a function specific layouts that are ready made for you by Prezi. Again, refer back to the specific lesson on the course. Text is, of course, we can add text and modify the text on our presentations. We can also add images. Prezi has an extensive library of icons and stuff that we can include in our presentation. We can add animations like fade-ins and zoom-ins, and we will get to that later. We can include PowerPoints, and we can actually select which slides of a PowerPoint to insert into a stack topic because they are inserted as images. Shapes that we can modify both in shape and color. Arrows and line with sticky points. As we can insert PowerPoints, we can also insert PDFs and we will be able to choose specific pages from the PDF to insert 
into our presentation. We can also insert audio. This is grayed out here because we cannot insert audio in the cover of the presentation, in the main topic, but we can insert in any of the topics. We can also use charts that we will choose the shape, colors, and they use dynamic data. So whenever you update the numbers, the chart will update in the presentation. We can also add videos. Videos can be uploaded to the presentation, which means that those videos will work offline, or we can pull them from YouTube, which means that the presentation is slider, it loads faster, but if we don't have internet, those videos won't play. And comments are more a collaboration tool than a design or Prezi creation tool, because it's for when more than one people is working together in a presentation, they can leave comments to each other, like revisions or ideas for the presentation, and leave the comments on a specific part of the presentation. If you are interested in collaboration and, and you are working in a team, I suggest you go and take a look at that lesson and comment on the Prezi course.